Good morning, commissioners and good morning, commissioners and staff. Uh, my name is Keith Rootsart. Congratulations, Commissioner Murray's and Zavaleta uh, on your appointments today. And welcome to the party, uh, Commissioner Anderson. Um, my name is Keith Rootsart. I'm with the Giant Giant Kelp Restoration Project. And I just wanted to comment on uh, what Director Bonham was saying about the, the salmon. I, I went to the Umatilla River and visited the McNary Dam and the fish ladder there, and I saw that there was zero uh, Chinook salmon had passed through the ladder. And from what I understand is this thymine is a real problem. The, the babies that are born, uh, they have a thymine deficiency and they spin in circles and they're lethargic and then there's mortality. And the, the scientists went into the ocean to try to figure out why it was happening in the breeding grounds and in the hatchery. And it was because of uh, their lack of thymine in the ocean was because they were eating all these anchovies and anchovies have a enzyme thyminase that removes the thymine from them and they pass that on to their offspring. And then the question is, well, why are they, why are they only eating anchovies? And that's because there's not other things to eat. And why are there not other things to eat? It's because of kelp deforestation on the North Coast that's eliminating the other fish that would uh, augment their diet. So we need kelp restoration in the ocean. And what is our frustration with the California Natural Resources Agency is that you're willing to spend three quarters of a million dollars on the breeding grounds and improvement of that, but that stops at the water's edge. We don't see less than a percent of that being spent on restoration efforts in the ocean. So I just wanted to bring that up and thank you very much.